well, George. Mm. You're a fantastic player. You've been playing for how many how many years? Well, since I was six. We don't need to count that. So you've been playing for a number of years, and he's awesome. So, <laughs> can you give some hot tips? Three hot tips for players who want to get better. Um. Well, I used to know a lot of players who could play lots of little licks. Mm -hmm. It sounded really impressive. And then you say, great, finish the song. And they go, I don't know how it goes, I don't know how the middle bit goes. So I think it's a very good thing to learn a whole song mm -hmm. with all the twiddly bits. I mean, it's quite good to learn a song with just the chords and then you sing the tune. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. But then if you know the intro or the, the riff or some little fill, mm -hmm. but all the way through, that's also good. And um, so my tip number one is learn three songs or three pieces of music all the way through mm -hmm. uh, and then you can do a little gig and leave the best one till the last and everybody will say, can you come back again next week? And then you've got to learn three more songs. <laughs> no pressure. And well, then, uh, tip two. Uh, 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 tip two is practice slowly but to a beat. It's all very well sort of playing uh, the fast bit slowly, so you go, oh, I'm getting that, and then, oh, this was easy bit, and you whisk through the easy bit. What you have to do is play the whole piece slowly, so you keep the rhythm absolutely Good regular. Tip. Good tip. Yeah. I, I do say that one yeah. So, like, get a metronome going or something, you get a little click off the yeah. internet or something, and just play along with that, and don't speed up, yeah. and don't slow down. The thing I always say though is, yeah, everyone hates playing with a metronome, it's mm. kind of clinical, but it's really good for you playing. As we're doing, if you're doing electro pop, that's what you're doing. You're know, playing with a drum machine. Yeah, true. Exactly. I don't know what it is. And, and the other thing I would say is, if you're playing on your own, mm -hmm. then maybe lots of uh, fancy strumming is is acceptable. If you're playing with other people, too much of that just makes the whole thing muddy. And in fact, even if you're only playing on your own when you sing, rather than doing lots of open strings which ring, it might be better to just go something as easy as that, which gives more of a, a, a snap to the rhythm. And then, when you come to the break, then you can play something a bit more twiddly. But, you know, something very simple but rhythmically precise is best for accompanying a vocal. Three tips. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. <laughs>